Okay, so this is the same job. Uh, uh, I've just finished topping up the edges, and uh, and you can see like there's a little bit of fluff on top of the the joist here, um, uh, and it, and I've pumped it right out over the edges now, so that's all filled. Um, so that's just the the way the job's meant to be done properly, and any of the little low bits now. Uh, uh, they look low because I've pumped on tops of the joists. So, so just in front of me there, near that second stick, you can see a little shadow there, and that looks like a little low bit, but you see the cellulose on either side, um, on top of the joists, that's actually at the right height. So, uh, and there's a bit extra pumped in. So, um, uh, but the, the main thing is that it's right out to the edges. So you can see now it's all the way out to the edges. And, uh, and I'll just come through here, right, and so again, out to the edges properly. So, can you see that? Yep. So um, that's uh, what we're doing now. The other thing I wanted to point out is have a look at this. So the previous installers have put this shroud here, and you can't actually see where the light bulb is because the light bulb is directly underneath the joists so um, uh, so now all flammable heat uh, flammable sources being timber should be five centimeters away from a light and a light should not be mounted underneath the joists so um, uh, for that reason and so the electricians obviously mounted this in here and it looked nice in the in the middle of the ceiling I'm sure but it causes a fire hazard in the roof, and uh, and that's nothing to do with the insulation. If um, uh, if there was ever a fire, um, I mean it's probably been there for 15 years now, so it's probably not likely to catch fire. But I've made sure that's nice and clean, and that's all I can do. Anyway, so now that the job's all done, I'm going to get the hose out of here and go and have a drink.